We are live from this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Monday uh, for another fabulous out of kit, stay at home demo. So here we go. Right, this whole week is going to be dedicated to um, cuts. Now, a lot of the things you will have to do as, as makeup artists um, involve injuries. That's something that you will. Um, that's something that you will have to do all the time. It's injury work, um, and it's very important to know how to work with injuries and how to work with products. So this whole week, I'm talking about cuts and how to work with um, cut-based injuries. Uh, we're doing different mediums. Hello, Martin. Hello, Jeremy. Um, different mediums. Um, one of the things we'll do, we'll do straight makeup only. Makeup only. Then we shall also be doing some, we'll end up the week doing some work with Sculpt Gel. So Sculpt Gel, there we go. Um, and our sort of final, that sort of will be Friday, the Sculpt Gel. On Wednesday we'll probably migrate something like gelatin um, or maybe latex, I'm not sure yet. But this today we're talking all about um, simple cuts using makeup only. Now all of you will say to me, oh my god, I can't do a cut unless I've got a prosthetic or I'm using a 3D element such as Sculpt Gel. Hello Seventa. Uh, unless you're using a 3D element such as Sculpt Gel, uh, it's the lovely Amelia, Amelia Thorpe, hello. Um, Sculpt Gel or you're using a uh, prosthetic, well no, I, I'm going to tell you that this is not the case. Today it's all about cuts using product only, no, no 3D effect, just makeup. And you're going to create um, 3D by um, using makeup. Very exciting. I hear you say very exciting. Right, so, first of all, when you create, um, when you create cuts using product only, as in colour only, you need to think about your, your low shades and your high shades, your highlights and your shadows, because this is what's going to create um, <laughs> Amelia, you'll be having a lesson probably tomorrow or the day after. I'm going to send you an email later. Um, we'll be using, um, yes, shadows and highlights. Same as if you, when you highlight and shadow your face. But when you create cuts, um, it's very important that you need to do, you need to think about, you need to think about depth of what you're trying to create here. Um, sometimes, sometimes you'll get presented a situation where you're in a film set, you have no effects kit with you whatsoever, and the director says, right, I'm so sorry, but we now need a cut across the face. And oh, you've only got lipstick, eyeshadow, and, and that's how it, uh, it. So you really have to sing, um, improvise. That's why I want to teach you how to do cuts using colour and blood. Um, now you can make your own blood on set if you needed to, and I, I many, and if you even if you don't have any products, once I had to make blood using lipstick and moisturizer, uh, which wasn't the best, but it does work. Um, now I do have some blood recipes available that I can send at another time. But today let's talk about cuts. So we're going to do um, we're going to do a cut coming down here, all the way down. We're going to do one across the nose, uh, lip, and eyebrow. Um, only colour, no 3D. So no sculpt gel, no gelatine, no prosthetic, no latex, no nothing. Just colour. Okay. First of all, we shall work with our trusty Meron Pro Colouring Bruce from Treasure House of Makeup. Ah, it's the gorgeous Theo Salisbury official has just joined. Now, for those of you that are on the video, um, Theo is the owner of a company called Exilium FX Limited. And um, if you take one of the um, courses that would run at Seven Time Makeup Academy, you automatically get access to become a F Exilium FX Pro member, which means you get access to go on a film set um, to do some work experience. And depending on how you get on, you might become a full pro member as you go along. So, um, so that's the collaboration we got. It's all about makeup. It's all about collaborations, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about collaborations and how you get along. So. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to create a sort of background for the cut. 
So I'm going to go all the way down here, down here. Now you will have seen this cut I'm going to do. If all of you have seen um, Spectre, the last Bond movie, before this one's about to come out. Um, is this Spectre I'm thinking? Yes, it is Spectre. Um, yes, it is Spectre I'm thinking. Um, yeah, the last movie, uh, it's got, he's got a cut that goes from the eye all the way down. And it's a prosthetic. However, we're going to try to create the same today with colour. And then we'll do the same using sculpture on Friday. Okay. So, we're working with our gorgeous Delium 193 brush. Fabulous. By our fabulous friend Thomas Supernum. Sorry, it's a bit rubbed out, but that's the one. Uh, so, I want you to create a... V going all the way down from the eye downwards. Now be careful with the alcohol. Hello, Aaron. Aaron, the creator of the Beyonce experience. With Linda on, the gorgeous Linda. Fabulous. Hello, Linda. Linda, fabulous, fabulous fashion makeup artist. Editorial. Um, she teaches some of our consumer classes at Seventa Makeup Academy. So, as you can see, all I've done is just down, okay? Gorgeous Juan has just joined. Juan Lopez Alvarez. Fabulous makeup artist. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Juan has just joined us, which is very exciting. Now, if you're a body painter, this is a technique you will be used to doing all the time. Because body painters do this all the time. However, now, I want you to have a direction. As you can see, I'm tapering down. Yeah, taper down. Which, what reference are you using? Okay, let me see if I can, I wonder if I can post a reference. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just see. Um, if you Google Blofeld from Spectre, hello, ma ma monster make monster makeup effects. Hello, today we're talking about cuts with our prosthetics. As we progress, we shall be adding prosthetics, but today it's all about doing the cut without the prosthetic. Uh, for those of you that are on the video, Monster Effects, fabulous, beautiful made prosthetics. Um, very good friends of ours. I love them, love them, love them. Um, yes, Google Blofeld Spectre, and one of the images of 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 Ernst Stavro Blofeld uh, is he's got a cut all the way that goes from his eye all the way down. Um, that's I'm taking that as a sort of inspiration today. Now, I've now got my sort of guideline. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you, Monster Effects. Now, don't be scared of going into the eye, um, into the waterline. Now. Note, you are working with alcohol. I have diluted my colour with alcohol. So just be careful you don't go into the eye, but be get as close to the waterline as you can. Okay. So as I said, today, no, the cut will be no prosthetics, no 3D effects, no sculpt gel, no gelatin, no nothing. As we progress this week, 
fabulous. You've got it, Paul, fabulous. Um, the reason we're doing this is because I want to show you how you can use very little products sometimes to create last minute out of kit effects. You have got to think on your feet and sometimes um, crew, designers, producers, directors will throw curveballs at you and, and you just need to think, okay? Next products we're gonna be working with is um, Ben Nye Studio Color Effects Palette. This one. In grease, this is grease paint. So I'm not using alcohol colors either today. I'm using diluted grease paints with alcohol. And then I'm using my, um, my straight grease. Now I'm gonna be using um, Fresh Cut, which is this one here. That one there. I'm now going to be using my 156 brush. Now listen, you can use whatever brush you like to do whatever the effect is. I mean, every we all have sort of, I have hundreds of brushes and I only end up using about six. So we all have preferences. I'm just telling you the ones I'm working with. This is not what you have to do. Um, now. I want you to now draw the cut inside the red mark, but not outside and not all the way to the edge. You want to leave a bit of a sort of, bit of a shadow of color, okay? It's quite bright, it's quite bright. But don't be scared. Ooh. Sometimes we do go slightly off. So do not be scared of colour. Never be scared of working with colour, people. Never be scared of working with colour. So that's my outline, okay? Again, go into the waterline. Now, because now I'm using grease on its own, I don't have a problem going to the waterline. Okay, yes, lovely. Let's keep adding a bit more color. Gorgeous Lauren from Treasure House has just joined. Treasure House is the provider of the fabulous kit I'm working with. Hello, Treasure House. Now, tomorrow I'm doing an impromptu, an impromptu video to talk about what is in my Treasure House kit. That's tomorrow. Um, very important. Now, when you're working with this, we really are trying to, we want to do a clean line, clean as, as clean as possible. Now you'll find the older the skin, sometimes the harder it is to move the product around, okay? So don't be surprised if your product just doesn't quite move the way you want it to move. What time will my kit video be? Or oh, it will be two o'clock as always. Okay, right. So that's our first color. It's quite bright, quite bright. We now need to start adding some depth. Now, all of you are saying, well, you know, you're teaching me something I already know. Fine, if that's the case, then just have a lovely time and enjoy putting the makeup with me. Um, however, I sometimes find 
I sometimes find just by trying things, you might learn something new. You never know. Uh, Danny Polaris. Hello, Danny Polaris. Fabulous vocalist and um, reporter. Now, next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of Dark Crimson by Ben Nye. So that's that one there. So beautiful, beautiful dark. Now, because I'm doing this on a less than flat skin, because I'm not 18 years old, you will have creases to negotiate, people. And I want you to not be scared of crease work. As I said, today it's all about cuts without prosthetics or 3D effect. As we go along this week, we shall add other elements to our cut. Taking a bit off, I want to make it a bit smaller. So don't, now you want to start to add some shadow work and I, it's quite nice to just think about where the light's going to come, how it's going to hit, where the depth is. Are we looking deeper that way, which means you put the shadow in this side. So if you're looking down, you can see darker. Hello, Eleni, fabulous vocalist, Eleni C. Are we all having a lovely day? That's the point. Isn't it lovely today? Although I think people are going out more than they should. I don't know about you, but I've noticed this. I've noticed this. I was in my garden before and I kept hearing a lot of people around. Now, I always add a tiny bit of black. A little bit of black to really deepen that shadow work but don't go all over it okay oh beautiful fan jellies stunning vocalist another my god we've got lots of vocalists joining us today Now, Vangelis, um, who's on the video, works a lot with Boy George. He is a fabulous vocalist. Lainey C has had some tracks written by one of Boy George's music producers. So it seems to be a Boy George kind of day, people. Boy George kind of day. Um, I'm loving it. So... As you can see, I'm really deepening that cut, but I'm not, there's no product. This is just color. I'm not using, I'm not using silicon. I'm not using latex. It is simply just color. All I'm using, it's the gorgeous Muff Scene. Now Muff Scene, queer activist, director of Pride in London, finance director of Pride in London, and a fabulous queer individual. We love Muff Scene. Hello Muff Scene. Um, yes, so all I'm using is my Meron Pro Color Ring and my Ben Nye Gorgeous FX Palette and my Dalian brushes. I am, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a brush whore. Hello, Muffsin, darling. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, 
so where are we? We're putting in some black people just to create that depth, okay? Some black to really, I want to draw in the eye to this area. My eye needs to go, oh, there, there we go. There's my eye going. And I kind of taper the colour this way. So I go that way, deeper, thinner, deeper, thinner. Yeah, that way, that way, that way. Now, if I know you, if I know who you are, I'll give you a quick hello. If not, welcome to the video and I hope you enjoy it. Out of kit, beginners, effects, only using colour today. This week's all about cuts. By the end of the week, we will create the same look using 3D effects. We will use silicon, but not today. When I was in the theatre, my mentor um, was the ex Heather Wicks of Makeup at the Opera House, Ron Freeman. And Ron, uh, who worked with Olivier, Domingo, Pavarotti, Sutherland, etc., New Rief, said to me, um, now, if you can't do it with colour, you have no business doing it. So he was a big believer on, if you can do it with the basics, like, you know, you should be able to do, as an artist, you should be able to just sketch. Well, we as makeup artists should be able to work everything with colour first. This is one of the reasons colour theory is so important. Um, yesterday, I had the pleasure of watching Juan, Juan Lopez Alvarez's colour theory um, life because he's a uh, he's a color maestro for code 8 and seventh makeup academy and if you don't know about color you really need to get your color theory down because it's fabulous it's one of the things that will really help you as a makeup artist so i keep adding some black and burgundy We're gonna have some blood in a minute, so let's not worry about that. Right, next one. Let's go for a broken nose, shall we? So likewise, we start again with our, we start with our Meron Pro Coloring Bruce. We go the sort of, we're going for Bloody Rose, which is that one there, Bloody Rose, yes. Too much. And then we'll also do the lip and the eyebrow as we're here because we may as well. Now this just creates a You can see it's just an area, just to give it a hint of what's going to be happening. Now, when you're doing makeup uh, cuts with just colour, you want to make sure that you don't overpaint it and make it look so perfect that it looks painted. Okay? Because that's the thing. Um, that's the difference between a body paint and a special effect. A body paint looks painted. And by the way, it's an amazing skill to be able to body paint really well. Uh, and a special effect, especially casualty, should look realistic. realistic. So, again, get your little brush. This is my uh, Dallium, what number is this? One, five, three. Now, you want the you want the sides to be thinner than the middle in this one, okay? Now, 
Now, I'm, I'm always a bit of a stickler. My students must be able to create cuts with colour only first. And also you can make you, you can do a slight indent, wrap the back of your brush with a wipe, and you take some out. Yes? Remember, sometimes a cut will not be perfect, so I don't want you to be too perfect. Likewise with the one here on the side, yeah? You wrap it around. And you can really start cleaning up. Okay, mouth next. Same thing, bright red. I've created a bit of a triangle. Bit too big so we're going to take a bit of color away for that one great and then the eyebrow Again, you want it kind of thinner, thick, thin, yeah? Can you get rid of? Always, 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 always have a reference image. Have medical, have real, realistic makeups if you can, okay? Realistic images, very important. Right, now we're going to add my dark burgundy for my shadow. Don't be worried about, you can stipple as well. So don't be worried, but just think about how the light's gonna fall, okay? If a cut, if a shadow, light comes from here, it's gonna fall inside the cut, so the shadow would be underneath, especially in the nose. You see. Okay, we're looking fabulous, we're looking fabulous. Right, so next thing we're gonna do is play around with a little bit of blood. Uh, oh, excuse me, there we go, let's, ca let's calm that down. I should have put that on silent, people. When you're in a classroom, put your phone in silent. Um, let me just say, I can't answer that. There you go. Right, so um, I would like to work with some coagulated blood by Meron. There we are. Um, mm, 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 mm. Where's my little, excuse me for a second, I just need to get something from my little cupboard. It's in my 
little my little makeup cupboard that I have here. Most of it is in Soho with Saventa, but everything that I've got a few bits here. Now I use some wax tools, which are really useful. Um, and some also some nail tools, which are very useful as well. Okay, so coagulated blood by Meron. We shall go for the lip first. Oh, it's a gorgeous Jason window. Hello, lovely. Can you see the detail? So I'm going to help you. It's not a case of just shoving a load of blood on and hoping for the best. Especially if something's going to be really close on camera, okay? You've got to be really very specific. I'm not a big believer of shoving, shoving a load of blood to hide mistakes. So be really, really specific. And take your time, take your time. Jason, I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm feeling that nose. <laughs> you will in a minute. So what I've done is I've layered my coagulated blood in the cut, but on a haphazard way, so it's not just one way all the way. So that's the, neck, that's the lip, we shall carry on with the Meron coagulated on the nose. I went slightly over, so I want to clean that up. It's when you find you, you're not as young as you used to be and you need a magnifying glass, and that's sad. I'm doing well with this one. Da -da -da. So again, coagulated blood on the nose. Let me just tidy up that spot that I went slightly away. Coagulated blood would also make it look wet, which is what you're looking for. Yeah. Okay, so that's the lip and the nose done. Um, we will put a tiny bit of running blood later on at the end, just to finish it off. Now let's do the eyebrow and the, um, the eye, shall we? So for this one, I'm going to use a slightly different product. I will be using... Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there we go. I'm going to be using Fresh Scab by Ben Nye. Yep. Yeah. And I've got a little tool like this.
again, don't put it all over, okay? Don't go all over. Be very specific how you place this. Now, it depends if you want it fresh or you want it runny, you would use different types of blood. Now, if you're going to do a cut this close to the eye, make sure your eyelashes are bloody as well. Morgan, hello Morgan, how are you love? So that's that one and then we shall then do the um, eyebrow next. Very well, Morgan. Just doing cuts today with no 3D effects. There's only colour and blood. No 3D. The 3D you create using the colour. The eyebrow, we're doing the scab really stuck to the, eye, to the hair, okay? It's very important, I think, to be able to do colour work before you add a 3D element to anything. Oh my god, it's the gorgeous Jack Patterson, creator of Jackie Swallows. Hello, Jack. Now, if you now would like to make your cut um, a little runny, all you do is you get a little bit of alcohol on your tool press it into the scab if you press it into the scab it's going to naturally move a little bit not much It's all colour, Jack. No prosthetics. Beautiful vocalist Dan Cook has just joined. You might have known him for being Marius in the West End. Amazing. So I'm now using my little tool with alcohol to just tidy up my edges, decide where I want to taper. Sorry, Valjean, not Marius. I beg your pardon, everyone. Fabulous, Valjean. Much better role, if you ask me, much better role. Regardless, 
Thanks, Dan. I've never looked better, babe. This is all I'm spending my time doing, either doing makeup demos, teaching people to sing, getting my uni students through their assessments, as all my stage work, as I'm sure for all of us performers, all our stage work has been cancelled. So all I'm doing now is using my little tool with alcohol, just to literally tidy up, taping my edges where I want them. I know, babe, all our stage work gone, but it will come back. It will come back. We just need to keep going. And by the way, can we all congratulate Dan because he recently got married. Welcome to the fold, dear. Welcome to the fold. And there we go. It's not looking bad, is it, people? It's not looking bad. Um, okay. <laughs> Extend the honeymoon. Exactly. Exactly. That's the way to look at it. So, here we go. We're done. Um, today, oh, actually, no, we're not done. Beg your pardon. We need to add a little bit of blood. Oh, my God. Now, as I said, I'm not a believer of adding blood for the sake of adding blood, okay? If blood is to be added, it needs to be there for a reason and not just to hide a mistake. Um, so, please don't cover mistakes with blood. Use blood for the right reasons. So, this is... Stage Blood by Meron. I'm just going to add it a little bit down so it just dribbles from my nose, my broken nose. That's sad. I get my little tool again. And again, again, and I get my little my, my alcohol again. And there we go. There we are. That's all the blood I'm adding. You see, just a little bit, just to show us off. Right, so what have we done today? We have done um, creating cuts using colour only, okay? No silicon, no latex, no gelatin, no prosthetics. Colour only, very important. We have used Meron Pro Colouring Bruise. We have used Ben Nye Studio Effects Essential Effects Palette, Meron Coagulated Blood, Ben Nye Fresh Scab, Meron Stage Blood, some alcohol, some wax tools, and my trusty Delium brushes. So, this is what we. This is the beginning. On Wednesday, we shall do the next layer, which is adding um, a 3D element to it. And on Friday, we shall work with silicon. Okay, so Friday is our silicon day. Please have a lovely day. Stay safe. Keep creating. Keep happy. Keep reaching out if you need to talk. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.